Take her. Oh, you douchebag. Oh, now you want to grapple him. Come here. Oh, fucking. Fucking take her. If I wasn't dazed, there'd be a double team going on, but. I want to throw stairs at him. Fuck you, Kane. As I hit the Undertaker with him instead. Oh, my. Oh, I thought he was going onto the stairs. As. <laughs> oh. Well, that didn't go well. There we go. Double team. What are we going to do? Double choke slam. Ooh. Double choke slam. Knee breaker. Uh, back breaker. Knee breaker. Well, it might break someone's knee if Kane's uh, super heavy, but. Come on. Tap out. Break his point. Is his point going to be broken? He's been in that submission for a long time. His point's been broken! Oh my god! Making quick work of Kane and Undertaker. Kane and Undertaker made quick work of Kane and Undertaker. That's gotta be Kane. Alright, let's get on with things here. On the SmackDown side of things now. If we see Undertaker again. That's getting that song's getting played again. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Did you know the people who save hundreds of dollars on their car insurance by switching to Geico sure are happy? How happy are they? Happier than Brad Maddox. Yes, Brad Maddox. I love Brad Maddox. Finding out that he will never get a WWE contract. Aw. Brad Maddox. My wrestling career doesn't work out. There's always a fashion design career that I can fall back on. Watch out, fashion world. Because you'll never forget the name. Brad Maddox. This guy thinks he's Mr. Kennedy. Or something like that. For saying his name twice. He's definitely not made to compete at Madison Square Garden because Brad Maddox is no Big Apple. Haha, now that's funny. No, it's not. I like Brad Maddox. He's greater than Mr. Kennedy ever, ever was. Because he doesn't have a theme song that tells you to turn up trouble till it gets real loud because he likes it so much better that way because he doesn't even have a theme song welcome back to Friday Night Smackdown we are having a great time here tonight on Smackdown and things are getting better and better thanks to Mr. McMahon who inspired Mr. John Laurinaitis to do a better job as general manager of both Raw and Smackdown we are going to witness an amazing main event right here on Smackdown only if it was that easy to put all the politicians to come up with a unanimous decision. I wonder if Mr. McMahon is still here tonight so I can convince him to fire you, Justin, with stupid Michael Cole no longer here, except for that stupid gadget that the THQ crew gave you with the Michael Cole's voice on it. My job would be a lot more enjoyable if you were in the unemployment line as well, Justin. Hey, that's mean. Well, I hate to break this to you, JBL. Michael still chill, skill. T st b t st Michael Cole still has a job over on Raw. Let's just call this next match, JBL. What is the next match? Superstar, any competitors, win condition, win. What does that entail? Oh, we got Hunico. Without Camacho, and we all know by now why Camacho isn't in the game. And if you don't, I demand you pause this video right now and go on my channel, go up to that search bar, type in WWE 13 story time with beautiful steps and Justin episode 6 why Camacho is gone type that in now go watch that and you'll find out why there is no Camacho in WWE 13 with Hunico it's on it's based on a true story and you all are gonna love it after that come back here and then continue the video because I'm gonna spoil why Camacho is in here because he killed a imposter John Cena by running in imposter John Cena over with a car. Which is crazy enough. Then Cena came out and told Hunico everything. 
and things just got crazy. Camacho got ran over by a monster truck, and John Cena said, that's why it's called Monday Night Raw, and then, Kama then Hunico needed to find a new homie, and I suggested Chavo Guerrero. Anyway, we got Ted DiBiase. Fuck this guy. I don't like Hunico really, but I'm gonna play as Hunico. I, d I didn't get a good, I didn't realize, did Hunico just have his regular tire? If so, you're disappointing me. I'm used to, I'm disappointed, Max. Hunico should have some crazy colored attire, just like everyone else. Should have be wearing like maybe an orange shirt with some red pants and like a green bandana or with some d d orange shoes and a pink bandana, I don't know. Something out of the, uh, out of something unusual, I don't know. Nice German there. Oh no. <clears throat> Hunico's getting caught up by Ted. Why is there such a job? Why is this match happening on SmackDown? This is, this is something that would happen on like Superstars. I don't know why this is happening on SmackDown. There's no storyline going on with this. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I feel cheated out of something that could have been fun. Instead I get stuck with this. And to make it worse, I don't even get a look at an amusing Hunico attire. It's disappointing. Come on. Come on. Oh, I guess he brought. Oh, no. Look at that reversal by Hunico. What do you think you're doing? Think you know reversals? Oh, I guess you do know some reversals. Thing is, so does Hunico. Oh no. Getting caught up by DiBiase. There we go. Do I have springboards? I do have springboards. I never knew. Oh, I got a signature. What is it? Yeah, I know nothing about Hunico. I think I've watched like a couple of his matches. Anyway, what is it? What's his finisher? It's the same move as his signature. What's up with that, THQ? One. Two. Oh. Well. Hopefully 2K won't pull any shit like that. That's uncalled for. <clears throat> Think someone in this match is the King of Kings? That fan should get his head checked. God damn it, Ted. Stop with your damn stomping. What do you think this is? Here we go. Fuck you. We're going to be getting a... Uh, look at these generic taunts. Anyway. Time to do the same move. Twice in a row. Unless I... Uh, Oh, nope. I was going to see if I had a uh, finisher steal, but I do not. Same move. Twice in a row. One. Two. Three. Hunico comes out on top over Ted DiBiase. That guy, that guy in the fan, he had a really small head, but he was fat. Where is he? Where'd that guy go? He was over... Near that green, right there, behind that green sign. Look at him. His head's like really small looking. I don't know how I never noticed that guy before. Where's his, where does bicycle go? Got a bicycle. Now where does, where does, where does bicycle go? I'm disappointed that he doesn't have a uh, take his bicycle back up the ramp after the match. I wish I could use the bicycle as a weapon. 
Now it's time for the Raw Rebound, brought to you by Kmart. Kmart would like Kmart would like to remind all remind all of you that when you shop, shop smart at Kmart. Kmart, shop smart. It's where you can get official WWE merchandise. CM Punk was making his way to the ring. <clears throat> For the main event, but Chris Jericho attacks CM Punk from behind. That did happen, yes. I don't I didn't remember that happening because I played that like a month and a half ago. Didn't Jericho continue to attack CM Punk? Running Night Raw main event to be cancelled. Will this rivalry ever end? Um yes it will it will end eventually. I don't know when, but eventually it will. Probably at the uh, Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Before we have our huge main event this evening to determine the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship, we're going to have a champion versus champion match. The Intercontinental Champion, The Miz, yes! We'll face the United States Champion, Santino Morella. Boo! Will the Cobra strike again? I hope not. Or will it be lights out for Santino? It will be. Justin, are you really, really, really sure they were going to have a main event tonight? I sure hope so, for Big Johnny's sake. And I said say, not snake, like a cobra. So don't say anything stupid, Justin. Okay. JBL, you really need to cool down. I was going to agree with you, JBL. The main event tonight needs to be perfect. As long as Kane uh, comes out the victor in that match, it will be damn near perfect. And that, that's the truth. The whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Fuck this guy. Fuck this guy, I don't like him, no. Now this next man, I can get down with. Because the Miz is awesome! As long as he's heel Miz, something about face Miz just doesn't sit well with me. It's the way that he panders to the crowd and just... Just everything he says is just so annoying and cheesy as a face. More so than when he's a heel. I thought when he was a heel he could cut a pretty damn good promo, but as a face... 